Hey Bookie, welcome to my channel. My name is Lulu and let's get to Lulu. As you can see, these are the items I selected today for this pick a card. This is going to be about is your person cheating on you. So, these are the piles. Pause the video if you have to. I'm, I'm going to show you up close, but take your time. Use your intuition and let's get into it. So, this is going to be the first pile. Pile number one with a skull face. With the little um, crown on top. If you know, you know. <laughs> Pile two is going to be the stop sign. Pile number three is going to be the Jordan air sign. So, like I said, take your time. Pause the video if you have to. And we're going to move these to the side and get right into so, it. If you chose the skull face with the crown, pile number one, this is your reading. We're going to figure out, is your person cheating? And we're also going to try to figure out with who. So, let's get the little, let's see, see what comes out. Spirit, for all of my viewers that are going to come across this video, that shows pile number one. Ooh, okay, period. It's a person cheating. So right away we got the fool. Let me put this over here, guys. And the ace of wands. It's pile one person cheating on them. <laughs> the star card. How do you want this bird? Period. The six of ones. Let's get one more. Thank you. We got the six of pentacles. Pile number one. <laughs> you doing something right. So I don't see your person cheating at all. We got the seven of swords in the back of the deck. We're also going to clarify even further, just so I can give you more details in case anything else needs to be said as well. But from what I see right here, your person is definitely not cheating on you. I feel like your person is somebody you could have just recently take, took a risk with, and or this person took a risk with you. This is something new or a re reconciliation for some of you guys, but your person sees you as a star like you're you bring light to their eyes I just heard and you make them feel emotional but definitely very passionate sexual attracted to you like there's something about a spark here they do feel like they they caught a, a victory when they found you or like the star that they got going on with you for some of you guys, I heard a reconciliation, so the fact that they, you took this person back makes them feel like they had some type of successful moment, like this is a victory for them. Um, they also could want recognition with you, like meaning they want people to know of you guys going back together or starting with this person. I do feel like this is something new for some of you guys, but this could also be a reconciliation for others. Either way, this person feels very passionate about you. I feel like there's something about your hands here that stands out to this person. And I, I hear they're very thoughtful. Um, <laughs> they love your private part. They're very attracted to you, whether you're a female or a male watching. Like, they just like to get down and dirty with you I just heard um but sometimes they kind of like not isolate themselves necessarily but protect themselves in in certain situations I do get that they're very given giver and receiver okay Ooh, period this is getting spicy for you pile number one this is not what I was expecting but let's go with it 
yeah, you guys can have an equal give and take here in this relationship, even though it's just a start. You feel very pleased and content with this person, very happy, and they feel the same way. Um, I, I'm getting some of you guys can love wearing, wearing those, like, hoop earrings and doing your baby hairs, period. Um, there's something about your hair, though, that your person loves and is very attracted to. Yeah, I feel like they compliment your hair um, constantly or they love the way you, you, you style your hair every day. How you have style, you're different, but you definitely have style. You don't go with the trends. I just heard trendsetter, so you could be a trendsetter, but once you set it, you kind of like let it go. Um, I just heard for some of you guys, you could have different type of styles. It is based off your vibe is what i'm getting but spirit can you please further clarify the fool here for pound number one the lovers yeah they love you baby <laughs> oh okay let me get that so we got the moon and the magician so i'm getting with that on um, pound number one that this is definitely given like your person loves you they feel like very strong connection here with you but I feel like they could come off mysterious and you don't like that <laughs> you like what's going on so you maybe you've been manifesting some clarity is what I'm getting and that's why you're here in this video obviously but let's get some more on the ace of wands stretch is a person cheating or would they ever cheat that's a good question since they're not cheating right now we got the hem and sideways i feel like they're on ch on chill mode maybe from past hurt they don't want to move too fast is what i'm getting with this and when the with the five of cups here in the back of the deck i feel like they could have been hurt in the past um, so they're, yeah, I look nice and so it is. they could be thinking about their past or like their past could be bring, bringing anxiety into this relationship. Maybe they feel like they're moving too fast with you. Maybe they want to take their time. And that's why they could come off mysterious with the moon here. Two of Pentacles. Oh, okay. So maybe you were juggling a lot or they're juggling a lot right now. But there's a balance between y'all. But sometimes they just want to be on show mode because they don't want to bring too much, too much pressure, too much tension to the relationship. We got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Is this how you want to spirit? I mean, yeah, reverse. Can I get more on this Wheel of Fortune in reverse? The Shari. <coughs> Oh, I got it. Okay, so maybe they left you in the past. Or they've done something in the past that you felt like. Why is this happening to me? Um, they, This person should have never done this. Maybe they left somewhere without telling you. Or like they took a trip without telling you. Or you found out something about your person through somebody else as well. I just heard. Either way, you felt like, like you was at... The worst point with this person i'm getting that's for the people that are reconciliating a fairy we got the knight of pentacles with the king of wands yeah like maybe they were trying to juggle some career situation or like an opportunity they had that they wanted to get going for themselves and you didn't understand that at that point but let's get some more for six of ones the ace of pentacles yeah they feel like they won the law already when it comes to you they feel like finally i'm getting the person that i've been asking for finally i'm i'm accomplishing things the right way i'm taking a different perspective in the relationship 
like finally she's giving me the chance or he's giving me the chance. Can we get some more than the six ace of Ugh. Ace of Pentacles. We got the six of cups sideways. And the eight of swords. Okay, period. Spirit. I just heard six five of ones. I just heard like you guys could be soulmates. Or uh, you guys can feel like you know each other from a past lifetime or something like that. If you guys believe it to that. Either way, you feel, you guys both feel like you guys are meant to be. Right? And I'm getting like you guys could be trapped with each other. With their emotions. And maybe not being able to show it to the other person. Or not wanting to show your full emotions. Maybe you guys both feel like it's moving too fast and you don't want to ruin it. Can we clarify the Six of Pentacles here? We got the Two of Wands. They do see a future with you, the Page of Cups. Let me get one more. Can we get one more of the Six? Thank you. Three of Cups. And the three of swords. Okay. All right. So they definitely do see you in the future. They want to like communicate something that maybe they they went through with a third party in their past that they were really hurt about. Maybe that's the emotions they're keeping trapped in with themselves, and that could be why they come off mysterious and they have anxiety and stuff like that. But this, I feel like this hurt is from the past. And here you are being an empress. Giving this person a fresh new start. Loving them and giving it your all. So they, they're going to come to the decision of maybe communicating this to you. That they hurt. That they, need, they wanted to heal. That it has nothing to do with anybody else. They're definitely not cheating. It's just them like still dealing it could be from a past relationship or past traumas from childhood but we're gonna get some final cards here with the fortune oracle card deck i'm sorry um for final messages spirit from upon number ones from upon number ones thank you Okay, we got abundance number one. It says, lucky times are ahead of you, along, along with good news, success, and prosperity, period. So, pile number one, have no worries. This person is definitely not cheating on you. And I feel like there's nothing but great things coming for the both of y'all. Um, there's going to be openness, communication, clarity, um abundance in the relationship as well as with yourself because you're going to feel great with being with this person we also got the eagle in the back of the deck with the number nine so it says you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength yeah this is definitely given even though there were rocky moments or you feel like there's going to be rocky moments Spirit wants you to know that to stay through the journey and go through it as you're meant to. You know, I feel like you guys could be eager, anxious, and nervous. And you guys are kind of both mirroring each other. So, know that there's meant, this is meant to be. You guys both feel the same. And to have no doubt, you're going to have clarity. And stay strong. But that's all I have for you, power number one. I hope that resonated. And if it did, please let me know how so down below. And I hope to see you on the next one. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Comment. Share. And yeah, stay blessed. Stay connected. The stop sign. Ooh. The stop sign. Power number two. This is your reading. Let's get right into it. So since I dropped the stop sign, I feel like you guys been getting signs about a third party or you got a like inst instance 
it's your it's your instinct hitting you like your intuition gut feelings you just got that feeling like it's something going on but let's figure this out spirit <clears throat> oh there's something about the throat chakra because i was just fine there could be no communication or lack of communication in the relationship but let's see spirit from about oh that was fast high priestess It's my powerful person cheating on them. So. Nine of Cups. Nine of Wands. The Tower. One last one piece of sword <laughs> okay <clears throat> and we also got in the back of the deck the knight of cups so um you could be strongly a scorpio here or a pisces but you don't have to be it could be somewhere in your chart Anyways, pile number two is your person cheating. I feel like you are the high priestess. Nothing is past you. You've been getting signs and symbols. You've been getting the red flags. You just got that intuitive feeling. There's something here about your person's phone or like their social media. They could be addicted or like always in it. I just heard they always in their phone. They're always in their computer or in their game, something like that. And you feel like something's off, like they've been distracted. You've been getting like kind of like symbols. Mm. You, you've been trying to like lurk as well because you've been getting this intuitive feelings like something is going on. I feel like your person kind of comes off like they're alone. Even though they're with you. Uh, not necessarily saying that there is a third party here. I, I don't see that yet. But we're going to further clarify of course. But I do see that they kind of like get that type of energy to other people. Like where they're alone. They don't really have a person. And I feel like you know that. Um, pile number two. I feel like it's been a long road with this person. You you put up with a lot. Or you've been through a lot with this person. And you recently could have been through a tower moment. And if you haven't, it's about to come up. And I feel like there's, that brought some type of clarity to you um, from this intuitive feelings you've been getting. Like, you, like, I just know. I just know something's going on. And you, like, I need to figure this out. I need to figure out who, what, when, where exactly like i i just heard fbi so you're trying to be an investigator here and you're trying to figure this out you could be also like asking people or friends for advice but let's try to clarify here spirit what thank you seven of cubs yeah they confuse you or they give you like illusions eight of wands yeah, this is definitely giving like, like they call solutions so that you're content and happy at the moment. Like they could either use money, they could use um, hearts, they could bring you flowers, they could bring you dinner. It's just like small little details that you're like, oh, they're thinking about me, but it's really like causing an illusion from seeing this other person so this person could be a queen of pentacles which is the earth sign so that's capricorn taurus virgo um this third party that could be involved because i do get the feeling your person <laughs> and i feel like you get the feeling as well so you like i'm with you Lulu, yeah period let me know if that's you in the comment section <laughs> um i feel like you know and they kind of like move fast. Like they try to move fast with it. They be ready to go. Or they're constantly outside. 
Third, they were doing more on the seven of thank you. We got here four of wands in reverse. Oof. Three of pentacles upright. <laughs> All right. Let me take a deep breath. Because I feel like your energy is giving, like, I'm frustrated, I'm done, like, I put up with a lot. And I feel like this person is just giving toxic, on, committable, kind of like somebody that just tries to play their card right, but really, they're not really ready to commit with the four ones in reverse here. They be ready to run, like from the straight commitment. I mean, they could work well with you. They love when they could be their better self with you and like communicate, get that going. But as soon as they get what they want, they kind of go or like they use work and other things or their friends to go out and they use some, use some fast. Like they be like, I don't know. I just heard like, you know how people be like, oh, I'm going to call you. Or call me in five minutes so you can get me out the house. Like, that's the kind of energy I'm receiving. So, they, this person could use your person. I'm sorry. Your person can use their friends to get out of the house. And I feel like you've been getting that intuitive notch about this as well. Spirit, can we get some on the Nine of Cups? We got the Two of Cups. Your person loves you. Like, they adore you. And that's why they don't ever want to hurt you. But they cause illusions because they also feel like they could do things by themselves and they're better off alone in a way. Because that's the kind of the Nine of Cups energy. So this is kind of opposites in a way. I feel like some of you guys been in a long relationship. Or most. But let's get more. What's the two of cups for the nine of cups? Here? Thank you. We got the queen of wands. Mm -hmm. Nine of wands. Energy. I knew it. This is the play, play energy. Y'all yeah, guys already know. If you don't know. I'm telling you right now. Buki. Your, your person. They ain't ready to commit. They have. They have somebody else. Like, they could either have an earth sign or a fire sign. Or this could be your sign or in their chart. Take it as it applies to you. But they definitely have another person. Like, they're not ready to commit. They just gaslight you. They make a make type of... Like, they cause you to feel this way. Like, and I feel like most of you guys already been getting signs and symbols. And... I'm getting there. They be ready to just go. They communicate when needed, but they don't. Then like they be ready to go. They're not always on a fast pace. I'm hearing go, 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 go. Spirit, can we get some more? This Queen of Wands. Who's this Queen of Wands? This. Thank you. We got. Look, look what what just happened. So I'm gonna leave it just as this because you're meant to be here. Obviously, no. Let me leave it right there because. I don't want to be extra. <laughs> I'm extra. I can't help it. Anyways, <laughs> we got the five of swords. So, yeah, they be arguing with your person about you and them. What we got here in the back of the deck? We got the ten of pentacles. Yeah, they be, oh, my gosh. I just heard you have the person family. And they be hating. They always, like, trying to cause conflict or, like, make your person feel a certain type of way they always in a flighty mood but they're always willing to communicate with both of you guys you know you and the third party is what i'm getting and i feel like most of the times you can't come and end up hurt more than more than anything because i don't know why i'm studying some of you guys could be stutters i don't know <laughs> anyways um Yeah, you, you could be, like, getting signs and symbols, and you could be the person that ends up getting hurt the most, because you, I heard kids, so some of you guys can have kids together, 
or like you have work or like certain responsibilities to take care of and I feel like your person uses that to their advantage or there's other things when it comes to the third party like I feel like this third party uses manipulation in a way um, with your person to get at them and to get at you and I feel like they want you to notice um, I'm getting with the towel moment recently either recently or like in the past for some some of you guys um seen either something on social media on their phone on their computer like your person's phone computer or something about this third party that caused a conflict but let's get some more let's see spirit gets more details nine of wands here the death card Hmm. I feel like you guys are ready to end this and transform your life. Maybe isolate yourself from this person, push away, or like let go. We got the seven of pentacles, but you're scared because they always come back. And I feel like most of you guys feel like, damn, what about the time I lost? my time my love mm -hmm. but look they keep speaking to this queen of pentacles or queen of wands and like you know take it as it applies but i feel like whoever this person is they're sassy okay they got things going for themselves they're very sexual very attractive um very spicy and like they're not giving up like they really want your person and they know that your person is in this knight of wands energy where they're always willing to come back and forth. So they're using that to their advantage. So every time they're home or whatever with you, like they be talking to them a lot so they, they could distract them, your person from what's going on around them. And that's causing conflict. But either way, I feel like you want a transformation, you want an ending, but you just feel like, damn, what about my time, my love, my kids, six of pentacles, and ten of cups. I feel like your person always comes back at the right time and tries to give you either gifts or like actually listen to you, communicate with you, and try to work things out for the higher purpose of all. You know, for the kids, the family, and all of that. And you always kind of give in because of the same reasons. Is what I'm getting problem with too. But let's get some of these towers. Queen of Swords. <laughs> this bitch. Three of Pentacles. This bitch. Like, it, I, I heard they told your person they want a third, like a, what, what is it called? Damn, Spirit, help me. I heard this person, this third party here, done told your person they want, like a, um, what is it called? Like when three people... I don't know why I can't remember that word. But if you know, put it down below in the comment section. Because I know everyone knows. It's just like a burn fart I'm having. I don't know why I can't think of it. But either way, it's just like they told your person. Like I want to do... I want to have sex with you and your girl or your your man. Like let's, let's make it happen. And you could have seen something about this. Like I'm hearing... Like a notification on the top of the phone, notification on top of the tablet, or like it just popped out of nowhere and you kind of seen it, which caused the tower moment. There was some type of communication that you seen, yeah, which caused you to be in hermit mode, like kind of isolate yourself from your person, wants to leave them. They trying to talk you out of it. They're like, I want you, baby. You make me happy. Oh my gosh. What's this Queen of Swords here with the Tower Spirit? This bitch is dumb. Like, you really think you're... You really think my pile number two wants to, like, have sex with you too, bitch? No, get Go ahead. I'm getting frustrated. But anyway, we got the Ten of Swords in reverse here. Eight of Pentacles. She didn't get what she wants. She was really trying to get it. She was really trying to get this. Ooh, I dropped that. Let's see what's that. Um, ten of wands. 
with the world card in the back. Yeah, she she thought she was gonna get away with this. This caused trauma. This caused for things to go south. She thought she was gonna like be happy, content, and actually get away with this, and like maybe get in between. I just heard you know move like a snake right in between you guys' bad sheets, <laughs> but um the cycle was closed. Either your person broke this off, or you and your person broke up. You broke the up with your person. You was done with it. Either way, like I feel like this person is never gonna give up. Like even if you're there or not. So I don't know. It's up to you what you want to do, part number two. But this energy is giving like your per person's flighty. Your person's a player, and this third party is annoying as fuck. Like they don't want to give up. It's very cute. What's this Ace of Swords? What's this Ace of Swords from the number two? Page of Pentacles. Magician. Okay. Can we get one more? What's this Ace of Swords? Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. So maybe this person paid somebody to do something like towards y'all or um your person like gave somebody money um to try to keep this person away and you kind of find out about this either way i'm i'm hearing like you're just finding out clarity about everything and you manifested this because like you're the high priestess baby nothing gets past you you've been getting signs and symbols you've been getting them red flags and you like I need more information. You've been juggling at this. You've been being the FBI investigator, the best one. Like you, I'm out here. I'm manifesting this clarity on me on my person. I'm about to find out what's this new bitch about, or who the fuck is this bitch. And you found out, all right. Some of you guys, I heard, I'm done. So be it. But spirit, we're gonna get now into um. The fortune oracle parts. Let's put some final guidance here for my power of two spirit. Damn, problem two. I'm sorry you're going through this, and I'm sorry to be the buyer of bad news, but we giving the business up in this channel, and I know you want the truth, but nothing but the truth, right? Cause who wants to be told nothing but lies like come on I forgot you i ain't i ain't giving that on my channel we're giving it the business but spirit for my part number two can we get a final message here some guidance thank you we got the key with the number 13 so it says here um New beginnings, directions, and adventures away for those ready to let go of the past. Oh my god. So spirit is giving you the key now. It's up to you to open the door. Uh, know that new beginnings are meant to start off regardless. For you, whether you'd like to stay with this person or not. But I feel like you really have to let go of the past. So you can see here, if you're ready. If you're, if you're willing to let go of the past. All these new beginnings, new adventures, new lovers are coming your way. And then you got the luck in the back of the deck with the number 19. is given everything. So either way, like I said, you're giving it all. Because I feel like you're the high priestess, baby. Like you're somebody that knows what's up. Like, you know, you're very spiritual. It's giving it strong, elite, intuitive. And you're about to have luck. It says here you're the you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead because you're about to get lucky. Pile number two. But yeah, baby, that's all that I have for you. Pile number two. I hope that resonated. And if it did, please let me know how so down below in the comment section. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and hit the like button. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Plus. All right, so if you chose the Jordan air sign, pile number three, this is your reading day. Let's get right into it. So, let's see, Spirit. Can we get some clear, accurate messages from Apollo number three? 
Is a person cheating on them? Let's give them the business. My partner with three is a person cheating for it. Is a person cheating? What we got here? We got the Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Is that person cheating spirit? The Sun card. It's called three person cheating. We got ten of one. One last card. The moon. You want this reverse? No. Didn't think so. Okay, we got the moon. In the back of the deck, we got the hammer. And I just seen the Knight of Cups. So some of you guys can be getting information about something from someone or somebody has been trying to give you hints and symbol about something is being off I'm, is what I'm getting for you, pile number three. Um, I'm hearing like you've been working at this for a minute now. That's what it's given. It's been more than five to six months for some, even longer for others. I'm hearing years. Two months, so take it as applies to you. Now, I am getting that a person does love you, like you bring happiness to them, but it's more like of kind of like 80 30, 80, 80 30, <laughs> 70 30 on a relationship where you're giving more than them. And I feel like there's a lot of burdens. You're like, oh my god, the kids, the house, the clothes. The car. It's just a lot. You've been working at it for a minute. You guys been working at it for a minute. You've been trying to stay strong. You, you've you been trying to be happy for yourself. Uh, I feel like both of you guys right now are, could be in the handman energy where your guys are just like being, okay? You're just lifing, you know? Because it's a lot. I, I'm hearing there's kids involved in a relationship for some, and even if there isn't, you guys both are very responsible when it comes to your job, your career, or whatever you're studying. Um, and I feel like you guys are both individually very happy, and you make each other happy, but there's something off, or there's something you've been putting up with. We're going to get more, we're going to clarify even further, but it's given like you guys are just chilling right now. So, maybe one of you guys... I'm hearing you, okay, period. Because of this person that's been giving information or has been telling you like there's something off, maybe about a past person and your person, um, you feel like there's something off, like there's some mystery in the relationship and you're trying to figure this out, you're like, what is going on? Why am I feeling like there's a third party? I am not getting a strong yes right away, pound number three. So I feel like your person hides it well, is what I'm getting. But we're gonna clarify even further to see what it is. I do feel like there's mystery and secrets in the relationship. And I feel like you could be very intuitive as well. So you've been getting signs and symbols about this. But you are happy with your person. You don't want it to be a burning. But if there is, you like, I'm not dealing with it, is what I'm getting. Like that's the end of your Kind of giving off here but let's get some more spirit what's the seven of pentacles here from a pile number three the devil with temperance in the back they could be addictions or like i said they could be a third party an ex i just heard there's some type of attachment they could have kids with somebody else or they could be like into alcohol, um, having sex with multiple partners, I just heard. Or um, going out with the boys. It could be smoking, it could be anything. Um, it could be even like gambling, a game. But there's something they're attached to. So, okay, we get some more. It's just Seven of Pentacles and the Devil. We got the Knight of Pentacles. It can even be their work, their job. And the Three of Swords. 
with the judgment in the back of the day. I just had to lean back for a second, guys. Hold up, because this is strong energy right here. This is giving, like, they you could use work or the fact that they work a lot against whatever it is that's hurting you. And I feel like there definitely could be a third party, because this is a cheating. We're asking if your person is cheating on you, and we got the devil and the three of swords. Like, this is definitely giving a third party energy. So I'm sorry. But I'm here to give you business, and I know you want the truth, right? And you're judging this. Like, well, there's been a, bait, a judgment call be made here um, on your person. So, what's the Queen of Cups? You got the Ten of Swords in reverse. You could be getting a lot of anxiety with the Nine of Swords in the back of the deck, or you can be staying up late. You're trying to figure this out. You're trying to act like nothing is hurting you. You, you feel like it's kind of a lift of a, sh of your, sh a lift, like of something heavy off your shoulders is what I'm getting. Cause I feel like you kind of been known. You've been just waiting for the right time. I just heard. I don't know. Maybe you've been hearing about this for a minute now, and it's finally coming to light, or. You've been working on finding this out, figuring this out, and you've been also getting, like, hints from other people. But you're trying to act like everything is fine until you have, like, accurate information or, like, proof, evidence of this. Spirit, what's the Ten of Swords with the Queen of Cups for the top three? Can we get one more? Thank you. Um, we got the Magician and the Everything is Fine card. <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing like you even through it all you're still trying to manifest through the pain, through the hurt, through the sadness, to the chaos. You're trying to act like everything is fine and you continue searching, you're doing your work. You're studying at this. You're trying to get the proof. Period. I feel you because if I wanna know something, I'll be like, I'm oh, tell me what it is. Nine of Cups, I'm telling you, I feel like somebody's helping you, giving you hints, something like that. This person could be a, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's helping you. This could even be one of your person's friends. I just heard that likes you and they're trying to give you hints that your person's been cheating on you. And this is like making you isolate, go within, search within yourself for the answers. You know, also look online, try to get as much information as you can. Um, and also like open up and be more aware is what i'm getting but what's the sun card here for pile number three spirit what's the sun card we got um the six of cups hmm. and the six of pentacles pile three this could be an ex that they're talking to your person they they could be attached to an ex or they could have kids with an ex. So they feel like they have to have an equal give and take with this person. Or with you. Take it as it applies. Switch and flip the roles. You know, as needed be. Five of Swords. With the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Um. This is causing conflict. This bitch is causing conflict in this situation. You know there's an attachment. You know there's kids. You know there's going to always be a third party. Or you are about to find out that there's going to be always a third party. And I feel like you constantly like argue with your person about this. And you kind of feel like they're off. Now, are they cheating? Yes, baby. They don't really care to hurt your feelings. There's an attachment there. They're not willing to let go of. Um, and I feel like they feel comfortable with it. Like, they kind of like stepping into the fire. And getting a little bit burned. And they kind of feel lucky to have you and this third party. Is what I'm getting. I don't know. Spare, what's the ten of wands here? The eight of wands. You done. You ready to let go? 
with the Knight of Wands. Because you know this person's a player. You're leaving them behind. I feel like you guys are going to finally get evidence. Or finally going to have enough information. Or you're just going to be overwhelmed and done. Like, you're like, I'm done. I don't care. I don't need information. I'm just done. Like, I'm doing this for me. Period. Pound number three. Pound number three. Support all the way. Sending you love and light. And strength and energy and power to get through this. But yeah, it's giving like you're done. Mm, time for me. Time for me to take over and control of my life. And let go of all attachments that don't want to let go, let go of other attachments, right? And it's giving you, you, you like taking a flight. You taking your car and you just going at it fast. And here comes your person like, no, don't let go. I love you. Like, they don't want to let you go because they know what your worth is. But at the end of the day, they're not willing to commit. So, you're going to just go. You're going to go. You might take a chance with your person's friend. I just heard for some of you. Period. Yeah, I don't know. But if you are willing to, if that applies to you, take it. But it's giving like you're done, you're gonna let go, and you already know this person's not gonna give you the commitment you're looking for. Yeah, we got the hermit, um, with the justice card. I feel like you're gonna see somehow in the future, regardless, um, some type of justice coming, like your person's karma. And I'm not saying necessarily with you or with this third party. It could be what? Even a new person. But regardless, you're going to eventually see that you got your justice. Like, whatever they've been doing to you or they're about to do, you know, with this other person and why not. Um, you're about to, like, they're going to receive that karma and they're going to get that done to them too. Anyways, once you finally leave, you're going to be in hermit mode. You're going to be isolating yourself. You're going to be finding that balance, finding that clarity needed within yourself. You know, you went through a lot with this person. They, they hurt you a lot. They brought you to the darkest moments. I just heard for some, not all, but you feel hurt, really hurt regardless. I feel like the ones that do have kids, you're like, what do I do now? How do I go from this? And either way, you're going to realize that you have the power and the light within you. And that you could do this. And that you're better off alone. You're going to feel more comfortable. You're going to be pleasing yourself. You're going to have time for, for everything. And you're going to be loving you, baby, okay? Which is amazing. Spirit, what's the moon here from upon number three? We got the Ace of Pentacles. So it's giving you're even going to find financial stability here. Or a new partner with the lovers in the back of the deck. Because I'm hearing like some of you guys are going to stay alone for a very long time. Right? Which is you're going to find a new career path or like a new job. Which is going to help you a lot and you're just going to go for it. But you're going to stay by yourself. You're going to isolate, work on yourself, soul search, do all that good jazz. Right? For others of you, you're, you're going to... Oh, I just heard... As well, you're gonna start loving yourself, giving that self care. Maybe start going out by yourself and all of that. But just whatever it is that you were willing to do with another person, you're gonna do it by yourself, and it's gonna feel amazing. Now, others of you are gonna actually find another person, and I'm here really fast. But there's gonna be some of you guys that are gonna be isolating yourselves and not believe, willing to give in to any new relationships. For others of you. Um, you're just gonna be saving your money point blank and yeah what's this ace of pentacles with the moon card we got the temperance here you're gonna find balance the tower in the back of the tide you've been you've been through a lot and this person caused a major tower moment but you realize that you've been loyal to this person so now you decided to um, stay loyal to you since they kept juggling you you're like, I'm going to find balance and I'm going to find happiness within me. And as you should, power number three. Spirit, can we get one last card? Thank you. The temp, the higher friend with the nine of pentacles. Oh, shit. 
It's giving you becoming a boss bitch. Just a boss point blank, whether you're a female or a male watching this. Like, it's giving you, you ain't putting up with nothing. You, you're going to be doing the hard work. You're going to be manifesting. You're going to be pulling out that one and, you know, being like, psh, banish. Psh, I'm going to get this. I'm going to do that. This is going to happen. Like, you, it's giving, you're going to have everything that you want to need. And you're not going to be searching for a person. For those of you that do find a person, either way, you're going to have that person and you're going to find major stability. You're becoming a boss. Period. I feel like you were meant to um, go through this lesson with this person, unfortunately. And you were meant to grow from this and learn from it. So it doesn't happen for you again because you're somebody of of like a lot of intuition, very spiritual, is given like a lot of intelligence, very beautiful, very independent, very stable mentally and emotionally. And you are very balanced as well. So um you you've caused this to happen in your life, not because you wanted to, but because it was meant to. Now you learn from it and it's transforming you into the person that you're meant to be which is amazing you're gonna become that boss period now let's get some final um portion oracle cards here so final guidance spirits for my pile number three what else do they need to hear any final guidance what's their thought that they need to hear thank you we got luck with the number 19 perry i'm telling you about to have major luck come in for you because you're finally like just putting you first and realizing that you're even like you were way too much for this person or you are way too much for this person but this card says you are ready to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead perry i'm telling you so much is to come for you, pile number three. And then we also got in the back of the deck, Unity, with the number 34. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, for those that are interested in a new relationship, that's also happening. But I'm hearing, like, 50% of you guys is like, no, I'm done for a while. Bless, baby, okay? It says here, a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You're ready, you radiate and attract great love. Wait, let me re repeat that again because I feel like I was off. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and love. You radiate and attract great love. Which means that you're going to be more understanding of this renewal, of the peace that you feel, the hope that you're going to start feeling as well for love again. And you're going to feel like... The fact that you're loving yourself so much and you got things going, you feel valuable within yourself and you decided to leave the past in the past, um, it's going to also attract in great love and luck into your life. Amazing opportunities and just great, amazing, abundant life in all shapes and matters. But that's all that I have for you guys, pile number three. I hope that resonated. And if it did, please let me know how it sold out below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. Stay blessed. Stay connected. I hope to see you on the next one.